Hello everyone, this is Ari Gamisha and welcome to my channel and today we will be cooking, actually we will be baking today. We will be baking, I wanted to try this, uh, kind of tweak the recipe, uh, you know, kind of made up my own little recipe, but these are the New York style cookies. Yeah, New York style. We in Florida, I know I live in Florida, but I saw some New York cookies online and they looked real good. Anyway, so let's get into the video. New York style uh, Le Cookies. Alright, so I got everything set up. I got all my ingredients over there. Got my mixing bowl. Got y'all right there in the business. So let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to add. Um, I'm going to add my cold butter. I've got a cup of butter here. All cubed up. I'm going to go ahead and add that. Get my little handy dandy spatula here to help me get my butter in here. You know what? I'm going to lift this. I'm going to lift that out my way. Yeah, because I need that out my way. All right, let me get my little one cup of butter. And like I said, I cubed it all up. One cup of cold butter. All right. Move this out my way. Get this back down. And I'm using my mixer today. As you guys can see, I'm using my mixer. I'm excited for these cookies. I wanted to use my mixer because I wanted to make sure I didn't over mix the mix. Over mix the mix. All right, let me get this going. So we can get that butter. We just want to whip it for about 30 seconds. We don't want to do too much. Okay, don't want to do too much. Don't want to do too much. All right, so. I'm going to do it for a couple more seconds. Cold butter. All right, we did it for about 30 seconds. All right, let's. See what we're doing next. All right, so next I am adding my white sugar, uh, three fourth cups of white sugar, three fourth cup of brown sugar. All right, y'all, this is my little bootleg recipe. Don't laugh. All right, so pour in the white sugar, our three fourth cup of white sugar, our three fourth cup of brown sugar. All right, okay. All right, we're gonna mix that for about a good 30 seconds. See, the key is we don't wanna do too much mixing. Okay. All right, child, that's good enough. All right, so let's move on. All right, so that was three fourth cup of white sugar, three fourth cup of brown sugar. All right, now I'm gonna add my chocolate chips, two and a half cups of chocolate chips, and I'm gonna do a full cup of walnuts. Uh -oh. Two and a half cups of chocolate chips, one full cup of walnuts. All right. So far, looking good. I wish my lighting was better so y'all could see better. Let me see if I bring y'all around this way. See, I'm telling you, I changed my lights to the bright lights and let me see, it's just the lighting is horrible. All right, y'all. Y'all work with me. Let me go ahead and get this mixed up. And we just wanna mix it. Just wanna mix it for about 30 seconds. We don't wanna over mix. About 30 seconds we mix in everything. Alright. 
Okay, looking good. Where my little handy dandy spatula at? Okay, here it is. All right. Looking good. Let's get the sides all scraped up here. Okay. Looking good. All right, let me lift this up so I can get it mixed properly. I wish my lighting was better for y'all, but trying to fit everything on the table and all right because the main part of this video is me making the cookie dough so I want to make sure we stay focused on the cookie dough so I mean because the rest is easy making the cookie balls putting in the oven so I just want to come and show y'all the actual me making the mix Getting that bottom straight up. Make sure everything mixed. Okay. Okay, all right. So, let me wash my hands real quick. All right, Joel. Okay. So, what we gotta do now. Okay. So, we added our, um, we added the two and a half cups of chocolate chips, the one full cup of walnuts, we mix it. Okay, two cups of flour, one and one fourth cup of self rising flour, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder. And I've got my flour, self rising flour here. And I've got my um, regular flour with the baking soda, salt, and all that, all that mixed up in here. So we're gonna go ahead and add those. Add that self arising flour. Okay. So y'all can see when the top off. All right. So I'm gonna mix in. I'll do this first. Okay. All right, let me get that mixed up. Looking good, looking good. Okay. All right, we don't want to overmix. Okay, so. All right, get my little spatula. All right, okay. All right, so now I'm gonna add the two cups of flour with the baking soda, baking powder, salt, and all of that. All of that. Okay, come on out the way now. Ooh wee. These gonna be so so good all right so let's get the regular self rising flour mixed up baking soda baking powder all of them in there all right okay okay all right okay okay looking good Ooh, it's a lot of ingredients in there all right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and add two large eggs. That will be the last thing I add. I'm not going to take y'all through that. Just letting y'all know. Y'all saw. Y'all got all the ingredients. I'm going to go back over them real quick. That is one cup of cold butter cubed. Um, Three-fourth cup of white sugar. Three-fourth cup of brown sugar. Two and a half cups of chocolate chips. One full cup of walnuts. Um, two cups of regular flour. One and one fourth cup of self rising flour, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, and then I'm gonna add two large eggs, and that is my cookie dough mix. So, yeah, and I'm gonna go ahead just make little cookie balls, y'all. Actually, I'm gonna put it in the freezer. 
uh, for an hour and a half. Y'all, I'm not going to take y'all through all that. I'm going to put it in the freezer for an hour and a half. And then I'm going to make cookie balls. And I'm going to cook it. So the next thing will me be bringing the cookies out. Let me tell y'all what. I am going to be cooking them at 350 degrees for 17 minutes. 350 degrees for 17 minutes. All right. So y'all got all the ingredients uh, of the cookies. So yeah, that's it. I'll be back to show y'all the grand finale. Okay, y'all, I want to come back and make sure I give y'all that word of the day. And I also wanted to show y'all the cookie dough. How it turned out. Look at that. Look at all that goodness. You see, each ingredient represents. Now, I'm only telling y'all what God been talking to me about. So, y'all know I like to share what God been talking to me about with y'all. Okay, so now, what I was thinking while I was making up the cookie dough, I was thinking about everything that's going on in my life. All the trials and tribulations, everything that I'm going through right now, each ingredient represents that. Because you know how it is. You got this over here. You got that over there. You got this problem over there. You got this issue over there. Each ingredient represents what you're going through. The chocolate chips represent this. The walnuts represents this. The salt, the flour, the stuff rising. All the ingredients represents the things in life that we go through. But you know what? Don't worry about it. I know it's a lot going on right now. I know you got a lot going on right now. But you know what? It's going to all come together. Just like all those ingredients going to come together to make some delicious New York style chocolate chip cookies. And I can't wait to eat them. Y'all know I'm greedy. But yeah, I just want to share that word of the day. You may have a lot going on. All hell may be breaking loose. But you know what? Don't worry. It's going to all come together. It's going to all come together after a while. It's going to all work out for your good. You'll see. That's what I'm trusting and believing God for. I need y'all to do the same thing. So, let me take y'all in. Back to the cookies. I just had to come and share that. Look at all that stuff in there. Look at it. It, it don't look good right now. I mean, to some people, some people do like cookie dough. But anyway, it don't look good. It's just a whole mess. Look at it. Just a whole bunch of mess. You got walnuts. You got chocolate chips. Flour. Sugar. Just a whole bunch of mess going on. But you know what? It's going to all work out. It's going to be all right. Be encouraged. Be encouraged, y'all. I know. I know. Be encouraged. All right. Let me get back to the baking these cookies. Okay, guys. I'm back. I've pulled the cookies out of the oven. Our New York style walnut cookies look amazing. Smell amazing. Oh, my goodness. I mean, they're just regular chocolate chip walnut cookies. And I think they just New York style because they're bigger than usual than how we make them. But... Yeah, all the ingredients was the same as making regular chocolate chip cookie, guys. Quick and easy. Quick and easy, guys. Throw everything together. Put in the oven. Oh, my goodness. They look so good, y'all. Look at that. Oh, they look so good. Mm, 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 mm. All right, guys. Y'all seen me do it. So you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. And don't forget that word of the day, y'all. This is Arika Misha.